if you have a huge amount of file in your computer and you want to remove those files using an automatic program or you want to learn how to remove duplicate file using 20 line of python code then this video is for you hey this is Thoid from tech Thoid group channel i make videos and give you tips and tricks to help you improve your programming skill and make you a better developer so if you are new make sure to subscribe my channel and hit on the like button so we can beat the youtube algorithm and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notification about every single video so let's jump into the video hey guys this is Tohit once again with you and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can make a program that can delete duplicate file using less than 20 lines of Python code the source code will be uploaded on the github and will be available in the description below in this case I'm using the IntelliJ idea you can use any kind of IDE you want on my desktop I have a folder called new folder and in that folder have a file so now I'm going to make a duplicate file and I'm going to make a program that can delete the duplicate file from this folder so at first we need to make a method that can help you to ask the folder location from the user so for that we need the file dialog option so we need to import a library called from tk inter dot file dialog import ask directory and we can take a variable called path and inside the path variable we will store the folder location and inside the path variable i'm going to give the function called the ask directory and in the ask directory function i'm going to give a title select a folder let's have a look and print the output of the path variable print the path so let's run the program we can click here or either we can click the right button on the screen and then we can select this option and after clicking that we will have two window uh, one is asking to select a folder and another is an additional window and later i will show you how to get rid of this window uh, if we go to the desktop and then select the new folder and then click on select folder and we can see that we have the output as a string and this is the address of that folder in order to get right of that second window what we need to do we need to import another function from the tkinter module from tkinter import the tk function on the path variable we need to type tk and it's a function so we need to give the parenthesis and from that function we need to take the with withdraw method so what it will basically do it will hide or destroy the second window that we are having so let's run the program again and let's have a look so now we will have only one output and as we can see that we're still getting the path of the folder so now what we need to do we need to import another module that is the os module to work with selecting the file deleting the file getting the list of the file import os so now how we can get the list of the files inside that folder so we need to type another variable that is uh, file underscore list and in that variable we are going to assign the function from os module is the list dir and in that function we need to give the path that we are taking from the ask directory function so now if we print the output of file list it will give us a list file list and if we run the program go to the desktop and then the new folder and selecting this one so now we can see that we have two files in a list so in order to work with the list we need to look over the list so let's write for file in file list 
if we want to see the file name we can type print file run the program again so we are already in that folder i'm going to select this one and then now we can have the name of the files so now we are only having the file name but we don't have the absolute path of that file name so how to get the absolute file name from that folder so now we need to import another library that is path leave from path leave import path well if you don't have the path leave library you simply install the library in your system using the pip install path leave. well let me show you and just type pip install path leave and if you just press enter and it will install the library in your system if you don't have so i already have i don't need to install it again so now in order to get the absolute path name we need to type a variable that is file underscore name and inside that variable i'm going to give path and then from os we need path dot join the first parameter will be the path that we are taking from the ask directory and the second will be the file name so we just need to type file and if we print the output file name just select this folder we will have the absolute path like this and now we need to check that the file we are getting is really a file or not so in order to check a file is a file or not we need to type if file name dot is underscore file so by the is file function we can check a file is really a file or not now we need to import another module that is hash leap. and now the most tricky part just write with me and then I will explain so what I basically wrote here from hashlib library I am going to take the md5 function the python hashing module is an interface for hashing message easily this contains numerous method which will handle which will handle hashing any raw message in an encrypted form and the md5 is a tool for creating hash from a string and the last one is hexdigest returns the encoded data in hexadecimal format in short from hashlib library we are going to take the md5 function inside that function we are opening a file and this is the file name and then we are reading the file as read binary r means the read and b means the binary read function we are reading the file hex digest function we are going to make it as a hexadecimal form so now we need to make a dictionary called unique we are just using the dict key to make the dictionary and then we need to type if file hash not in unique we need to assign the file name inside the unique dictionary so unique third bracket file hash file hash is the key and the file name is the value so the dictionary is a key value pair else we are just simply deleting the file so in order to delete the file we need to type os dot remove and then we need to give the file name and we can print a successful message so la let's try print take an f string and then let's give a message called successfully deleted the file name if this operation is not successful we need to type else print operation not successful so let's run the program again and have a look to the output i'm running the program again going to the desktop 
and select the new folder and then clicking select folder and we can see that successfully deleted this file so if we go to the new folder we can see that we are having only one file so the duplicate file has been removed successfully well that's all about the program and if you have any question just let me know in the comment below and let me know if you have any method for deleting duplicate file using the python well in this channel i make different kind of programming and tech related videos if you feel that this video was helpful for you make sure to subscribe my channel right now and please turn on the bell icon to get notification about every single video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video